I am more qualified to be president than Tinubu, Atiku, and Osibanjo. Governor Nason Wiki insists. Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, all depending on the time we're reaching you guys. Welcome back to our channel. So good to have you guys back here again and thank you once again for your continuous and massive support to this channel. God bless you. We really appreciate you. We do not take your support for granted and we pray that even as you support this channel, God Almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you once again. Yes, guys, as always, we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country. 2023 politics have started. We know among these names that um, Naysom Wiki mentioned is just um, Bola Tinubu who has officially come out um, that um, he's running, he's declared his intentions, he's made his intentions known. He visited the president a couple of weeks ago and now um, he's gone to the United Kingdom. We got in the news that um, consultations are still going on over there. 2023. But we know that um, his declarations to run for the president was greeted with a lot of criticism with Nigerians stating that um, um, Bola Tinubu is not fit to be president because of his age. Some said because of his age, because of his health, stating that um, the last thing we need is another um, tourist or medical tourist president. We recall how President Buhari um, was in 2015 when he was, uh, beg your pardon, 2017 when he was away for a long time. Well, um, Naysom Wiki is dropping the bombshell. We also recall that um, Southern governors um, demanded that um, the presidency has to go to the South. Now, Atiku Abubakar is from the North, and Atiku Abubakar has been pushing. Um, he just revealed that um, he's going to be making his intentions known very soon. He's not come out officially, but we know that um, everything he's been doing is towards 2023. He set up support groups across the 36 states that he should go on preaching the gospel and the gospel of Atiku Abubakar. But Nigerians don't want recycled politicians. For uh, for Yemi Osibanjo, Yemi Osibanjo has not said anything about running. As a matter of fact, all the times he's been asked if he was going to run, he said no, that he doesn't have any intention of doing so. All he's doing, or all he's focusing on right now is uh, his uh, position as a vice president and his hands are full. He has a lot to deal with. But a lot of support group have been coming up for him that uh, Usibanjo is the best person um, that can take over from President Muhammad Buhari from the North, surprisingly. But uh, you know, it was stated that the North, they have an agenda. The reason they are pushing the reason they are pushing for Usibanjo is so that um, um, they can get back in again immediately. But anyway, Governor Naysom Wiki, the Governor of River State and also a PDP chieftain, he is stating that um, he's more qualified <laughs> He's more qualified than all of these persons um, to be president. We'll bring you all of the details in a moment, all that Naysom Wiki um, is talking about right now. But before we do, guys, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, click on the like button. And if it's your first time, you're very, very welcome. Please hit on the subscribe button. God bless you. Governor Naysom Wiki of River State says he's more qualified than ex-Vice President Atiku Abubakar, incumbent Vice President Yemi Osibanjo, and the APC national leader Bola Tinubu and others aspiring to be Nigerian's president in 2023. Assuming today I want to run for the office of the president, what quality do you think I do not have? Why do you think I cannot provide the right leadership for Nigeria to move forward? The former minister and incumbent Rivers Governor asked. Answering his own question, he asserted, For somebody of my kind and record, a governor and a minister, I don't even see anybody who would tell me that he's much qualified than me. I don't think that is possible. Mr. Wiki made the session on Tuesday night on channels television. While he has not made a public declaration to run for president, he insisted that it is not good for anybody to say my aspirant is the best of the aspirants. Apart from Messrs. Tinobu, Atiku and Osibanjo, known to be eyeing the presidency. Others interested in becoming Nigerian's president in 2023 include Governor Amin Utambua of Sokoto, ex-Governor Peter Obi of Anambra and Rocha Sokorocha. All I preach is that people should talk on issues. Nigeria has a problem, Mr. Wike pointed out. If they have given you the opportunity, what are you going to do to make sure that Nigerians benefit? Mr. Wiki's comment came a few days after he was rumored to have been picked to deputize Mr. Abubakar, though he debunked 
the claim. On Tuesday, the ex-vice president paid a courtesy visit to Nigeria's former military dictator, Ibrahim Bambagida, sharing pictures of the visit. Mr. Abubakar wrote, At a courtesy visit to former military president, Ibrahim Bambagida and Governor Abubakar Sani Belo of Niger State in Mena today. His visit came weeks after another presidential hopeful, Bola Tinubu, went to see the former dictator for his blessings ahead of the 2023 presidential election. Although Mr. Atiku has not publicly announced he would run for president next year, it appears he has not given up on his presidential ambition. Atiku just told Nigerians that um, they should wait for it. It's coming very soon. He's going to notify everyone. But the shocking one was that, um, you know, the report we got was that um, 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 Atiku Abubakar has dumped Peter Obi and picked... There is some weekend. There was an argument there that um, if that is the case, then Atiku Abubakar um, is in the right direction because um, there is some wiki has got a lot of um, qualities. He's got a lot of track record more than Peter Obi. Interestingly, but we know at the end of the day, um, um, there is some wiki debunked it that that is not true. He was not picked as running mate. But you know, all of these things, nothing is hidden. 2023 is just next year. If he's going to be the running mate of Atiku Abubakar, we eventually know. But this one that he's now saying that he's uh, more qualified than all of them. So it, it clears the air that it's likely that he's not going to be a running mate because he is saying that he's even more qualified than Atiku Abubakar. All of these names is mentioned. Um, Nigerians don't want any of them, save for uh, Osibanjo. But some persons still feel that um, they are all recycled politicians. What we need are uh, people with good track record. Because for Osibanjo, the question that is being asked, although Nigerians don't have anything against him, there's really no um, fraud allegation against him or anything hanging on his head, EFC, or so anything of such. But they feel that. Um, under President Mohamed Buhari's administration, he's not been able to really, really push for any change, push for anything or oppose President Buhari's um, policies. He's just been dancing and flowing with the, uh, with the tide anywhere. Um, he's just been going like that. Some persons feel that is the situation he finds himself, that there's not much he can do. He's just the vice president. Well, anyways, the general thought is that uh, we don't want recycled politicians the country is in a bad shape yes Nathan Wiki mentioned that that the country is in a bad shape and anyone that wants to put himself forward should be able to tell Nigerians what they are going to benefit we know Bola Tinubu said uh, there will be no more school fees that is the one he's um, giving out politicians are used to making promises and promises but guess what Nigerians are wise now those promises will not work because we'll look at the promises you've made before and how they were fulfilled that will give us um, a hint if truly, truly you are a man of your word and if you've got integrity. Well, guys, uh, we'll see how all of this plays out. But leave us your take. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share and to subscribe. So I come your way again with more updates. Bye.